Hello, hello, my friends. We are live. It's July 3rd. So crazy. Hope you guys had a good Canada day. Instagram's telling you all that I'm going live. Just gonna fix my hair and wait for y'all to come on. And as you are tuning in on the live today, drop me a hello. What did you get up to this weekend? Um, I'm really excited for today's live because I have some exciting things to share. And I've got some cool things happening this month. And so today I wanted to just come on live and have a little bit of an interactive convo with my peeps and share what's going on. So, okay, I'm going to dive into it. And I know people are still rolling in, but some of you guys are already on. So, you may have been seeing over the past uh, couple of weeks that I have been really speaking a lot to my girls, to the women around this importance, this need to elevate themselves and to be able to level up and create wealth in their life in totality. And so today I wanted to share, I have opening on July 17th is a workshop called The Audit, and it's gonna be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, and so anytime during this live today, you can DM me the word audit, and I will send you a link that you can go directly to register and secure your spot. So many of you guys know that over the past 20 years or so, I have been advocating and championing women. Uh, while being in the world of real estate and being in business. And so at the core of really like who I am, I, you know, I would say that I'm an impact entrepreneur and that I am wildly passionate about creating wealth and freedom. And wealth, not just in, in finances or riches or having to do with money, but also like health. Many of you who have hung out here for a bit know um, I'm huge into chemical free living and natural options. And I believe when you have your health, and you have moolah uh, that creates freedom and that ultimately is creating what I define as wealth. And so one of the things I've been passionate over the past uh, 20 years really is helping other people to also achieve the same. And so I believe, <laughs> you know, and I did a post about this the other day too, that it is actually our birthright to experience freedom, to experience abundance. It's your birthright, it's my birthright, and yet, for so many people in the world, it's still very much seen as this luxury, right? Like wealth and freedom. And it's not a luxury. It's actually a rite of passage. It's, it's our birthright to be able to experience it and to obtain it. And, um, you know, I'll give you a little bit high level of a background just in case you're new here and tuning in um, and maybe you don't know me. Uh, but I have been in the real estate industry for 15 years now, which is pretty crazy and purchased my first property when I was in my mid 20s and have purchased multiple properties since then and, and still own multiple properties here in Canada, but then also in internationally, I have properties in Costa Rica and also in Mexico. And so investing is like a really, really big thing for me in my life. Um, it is one of the paths, it's not the only path to being able to create uh, wealth, but then also generational wealth. Um, maybe some of you guys have seen, I'm actually looking uh, in the United States right now as well, in Detroit and other landlord friendly states. So stay tuned for that. That's not what this is about. So I'm going to share more of the, those details in the upcoming weeks. But what I re really wanted to dial into today and share with you and why I'm doing this workshop is there is this tabooness around women talking about money and women talking about finances and creating wealth. And it shouldn't be that way. You know, the, the money arena, the investment arena is not a boys club, even though it still very much is. Um, it's available for women too. And there is the game of money, there's language of money, language of investments. And if you don't 
develop it, if you don't understand this, then you are going to be, you're going to be left out because you won't be able to structure your wealth if you have very minimal knowledge around this. And so sometimes I feel that for women, uh, this is, this is part of it. Um, because money has not been made, I'm going to say as like sexy or, um, for them seeing that it's really available for them. And so it's time to change that around women. Um, I really, really want to see women win. I want to see women financially independent and whether you're in a relationship or not, whether you're married or not, uh, is irrelevant. And I will say I very much honor the structure and I honor, um, the, the relationship between two people in a relationship between man and woman and, and how that can look. Uh, but that's not what this is about. This is just about women being able to win, women being able to create wealth and become wealthy women themselves. And so on July 17th, inside the audit, we're going to start making this shift. We're going to start making it happen. And so if you are a female, if you are a woman and this is of interest to you, or you're like, God, I know so many women that should be a part of this, send this to them. Um, I can absolutely send them the link to register. And at any time you DM me the word audit, I'll send that to you in your inbox. But, um, you know, this, this world that we're living in now, there has never been a more important time for women to become empowered through their finances and to truly understand it. Like I said to you, I have, um, over the past 15 years of being in real estate, I've worked with hundreds of women and there comes up from all different walks of life. And it is so common for me to be working with a female looking for a property. She's either selling a house or buying, uh, buying a place. And she's very handicapped in, and paralyzed within her ability to understand the language of money, even understanding that there is this language of money and being financially literate. But she's been very limited because the finances have always been taking care of for her. And so I see it time and time again, sometimes it's a divorce situation. And, you know, women are like, I have no established credit because my husband had all the credit cards and I was a supplementary holder on that. Um, same thing with their, with their phone bill, you know, you can go under a family plan. And so you don't even have registered credit, which makes it very hard for you um, at that stage of life to be able to reestablish yourself within the financial world. And so um, you know, over the years and of working with these women, just going, my goodness, like there's this such a strong need for women to lay that foundation for their finances. And so over the past like few weeks, I've been having all of these crazy conversations with powerful women and understanding and feeling like this is they're, they're, this is like the same conversation we're having and the importance of in order for women to win, in order for them to be able to create wealth, you need to have these basic foundations set. And so many women don't have them. And so inside the audit on the 17th, it's going to be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Like I said, you can DM me the word audit and it will send you the link to your inbox. We're going to go through some of this stuff of getting really clear on where you are versus where you think you are. So often people think they have this idea of their of their finances and um, you know, until you start doing this deep dive and then you really realize, holy crap, I'm not doing this or I don't have this or I should be doing this. And how to get really, really clear on where you are so you can actually start building and creating that wealth that you're looking for. Um, and so, gaining that clarity, getting a full picture on that and looking at how can you start redirecting some of your funds? How can you start investing? How can you start automating your investments so that your money starts to work for you? So that's going to be like one component that I'm really excited about. And then I want to shift and change the mindset around money, around your finances and looking at 
What is your relationship with money? What is your money mindset? What is the narrative that you've either developed, you inherited, whether that's from your parents or your ancestors? There's generational, I call it like trauma, that trickles down that we don't even realize that we are conditioned around, which develops our mindset. And whatever you believe, (laughs) you act out. And what you act out becomes your results. And so if you're wanting to grow and become a wealthy woman, we need to look at what is your mindset, what's your money mindset, sorry, and what is that story and how do we heal those traumas and then how do we redirect, how do we reframe that money narrative so that you can actually start building and stacking and creating wealth in all different areas, you know, not just one silo, whether it be the stock market or be it real estate. And there's many other ways as well to also generate money. Um, So we're going to look at that. And then going through some of the basics, language 101, like I brought up earlier, you have to understand the language of money and develop financial literacy. There's a fluency of finances. And this is so important for you to establish. And it's at those few things, you can actually then start building your wealth without them. I'm telling you, you will be limited. You might be able to make money here and there and and whatnot, but to actually create wealth, you need to understand the language of finance um, and the investment world. So we're going to go, we're going to go through some of that. Um, I just want to just pause really quick going through some of the comments Um, absolutely financial freedom pays the way to uh, to time and the life of freedom. And, uh, so many women on my family have not broken through this, but I'm still breaking it now for all of us. Yes. I love that. You know, and it's, it starts with us. We often hear, you know, you'll hear even just around like health issues where people are like, it's hereditary, you know, therefore I'm like prone to have, you know, whether it's heart disease, it could be diabetes, you know, pick something. And, Although that can be true, you know, our bodies have the ability to heal. Our bodies are machines. They want to heal. And so just because you might be predisposed to something like diabetes does not mean that you can't course correct that. does not mean that you can't change your diet and your habits and learn and become knowledgeable around maybe what I can eat and consume you might not be able to eat consume because of your what you've been predisposed to. And this is no different within finances. And so looking at what's happened in your family, what's happened in your family's history, and looking at those narratives and how you've been conditioned, what you've been told your whole life around money. Um, and then going, okay, I acknowledge that. I see that. I'm going to forgive that, heal that, and change it for you. So um, I'm really excited for this portion because this is where I I see so many breakthroughs um, with people because you you're able to change the paradigm, you're able to change the narrative, um, and then that sets you on a whole different path. So Wednesday, July seventeenth, we're going to be going through that, and I'm just I have this heart to just see more women win see more women um, come into creating their own wealth. And I really believe that when we see more money move through the hands of women, we actually change the world. Um, You know, women are the nurturers of the home. Does that mean that men cannot be nurturers? Absolutely, you can. Uh, But that is in our DNA. That's the makeup of being a female. It's, It's such a gift that we are nurturers by nature. And so when a woman is strong, when a woman is independent, when a woman is stable, you create a core stability within the family unit, regardless of what the other partner is or isn't doing. And that has a ripple effect on the children. It has a ripple effect in the community, which then changes things within a country as well. And so that, that can, I can dive really deep on a much uh, bigger level on that. But the point for me is that it's really, really time to see women elevate. It's time to see women win. And, you know, if you have asked yourself this or, you know, if you know other women where you're like, do you know the language around money? Do you have financial literacy? Maybe you have money saved, but you are one of those people that you just sit on your money because you actually don't know what to do with it. So it's just sitting in the bank, really not making you money at all. Uh, In fact, you're probably losing money. 
uh, you know, maybe you have money saved and you don't know next steps, or maybe you're at this point where you're like, I want to become an investor. You want to put that in your title, uh, in your own life, but also in your business. And maybe you desire to own real estate and multiple properties and learning about leverage and how to make your money work for you, how to bring in cash flow and passive income, all of these things. Like if you're only relying on one revenue stream, I'm telling you, especially in today's day and age, it's not enough. And the average multimillionaire has at least four to seven different revenue streams coming in. And this is the beauty about being an investor is you're able to diversify and you're able to create those different revenue streams for yourself. And even as I'm talking right now, there might be some women on here and there's absolutely zero shame. We all had to learn it at some point. You've got some established, uh, very established investors that are on here as well, but they will tell you, we all had to learn this language right now. If I'm talking about revenue streams and um, investments and how to diversify and you're already getting lost in that lingo, then this is for you. <laughs> this is gonna be for you on July 17th to start building your foundation. So I would love for you to join me, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, DM me the word audit, and we're that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go through an audit around your financial literacy, around your financial circumstances. And it's not gonna be you opening up your books. I'm not gonna be asking you, you know, how much are you making and show me X, Y, and Z. No, 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 it's still gonna be private on your end. But I'm gonna guide you through how to do your own assessment so you can clearly see where you are versus where you think you are, and then also where you want to be going and what you wanna build. And so I'm really, really excited. Um, if this resonates with you, if you have questions, drop me a DM, you know, they're always open and share this, share this with a woman, share this with a girlfriend, um, because this is why I'm doing it. Um, even recently, I'll just share like a little story. I recently, I saw this group come out and it's around money, um, health, uh, business, just like all this good stuff. And I looked at the lineup and I'm like, where are the women in this? Like, where are the women? And it's so frustrating because I find still today, like we're still very much navigating and competing with men and we shouldn't have to do that. Um, you know, it, it should be women who are thriving and win winning and we're creating these circles for, for other women to come and learn and other women to come and thrive. And there are them that do exist, like don't get me wrong, there are, but I'm just saying that there's not enough. And so this is partly my heart behind doing this. And I've got some really cool things coming out in the fall, which I will be sharing and dripping with you guys over the summer, uh, probably starting towards mid-August. But this is, I, we need to start seeing more of this. And so I'm deciding to do some of that more um, rather than just going, somebody, some woman should start doing this. So I'm doing it, okay? So July 17th, this is gonna be the first one. It's called The Audit, The Path to Financial Empowerment. And I would love to see you on the inside. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks guys for hopping on today. It's always so great to see you and to hang out. And we'll chat with you guys soon. Okay, chat for now.